Not a big video game. So your strong foot goes on the board, the other one you use to pick up the pace. So put your foot like this. Oh, more to front. Okay, there, that's good. Then the other one you do to get some pace. Like yeah, exactly. See the, mo the ball is moving. Right? Then you put the other. Yeah, exactly. There you go. I know it feels like things have dropped to the floor. When your heart is heavy, you can't take any more. You did your best, give it all that you could. I know it feels like you got less than you should, but I say, hey, babe. Don't turn around and walk away, baby I ain't lying when I say, hey, babe Don't turn around and walk away, baby We'll be fine What's up, what's right. up? I just met this awesome guy over here. Maybe you've seen him on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Three years ago, I was a college student, but in the midst of studying, classes, and exams, I found my real passion. Summer shredding was a dorm room dream. Fast forward a few years, and I realized that this series has forever changed my life. For the next 18 to 20 weeks, I'll be dedicating my life to pushing my mind and body to new limits. I'll be doing this not only for upcoming competitions, but to truly find myself. I invite you to join me on this journey. Welcome to Summer Shredding. You probably have. Hey, how did you enjoy the gym, man? It's an awesome gym. Yeah? I love it. Like, there's so much stuff you can do. Like, you can do functional workouts. Mm -hmm. You can just do like bodybuilding stuff. Uh -huh. It's awesome. We don't have like functional stuff in our gym. That's right. why I like it. Good morning. I just got back from the gym, working out at Alpha Lead for the last time, and I talked to Christian for a bit. Hopefully, I will see him at an expo sooner or later again. But yeah. Let's see what the day has to offer. It's already like, I think 3 p.m. So I have, I have worked on the computer this morning for like a long time. And now I have to see what to make of the rest of the day. But I'll keep you updated and I'm pretty sure I will come up with something. Also I talked to Christian about like YouTube nowadays and growing a channel, which is like my problem I'm having at the moment. I told him that I was traveling and like doing daily uploads and the first thing he said is that consistency is key, like you can see on this video right here. But that daily uploads for a start would be crazy. And it's not only that quality may suffer because you put so much effort into the quantity, it's also that you get exhausted really quickly and that's the problem I'm having. So what he recommended is to get three, four, five videos a week, taking a couple days off. Maybe I'll try that later. For now, I'll continue with my daily plan. If that is not working out for me, I'll probably switch to like just doing three to four a week and see how that goes. Let me know your opinion. I know I've talked about this yesterday in, the com uh, yesterday in my video as well. Just want to get an opinion on it. And that would be pretty cool. And yeah, let's see what the day has to offer. I just took a shower and feel a lot better now after this gym session. I'm actually really glad that I actually met Christian because I was driving away, I was working out for like two hours and I was 
pretty sad that I didn't meet him. But then while driving away, I was looking at this really cool car, I was taking a picture of it, and then he walked out and said, could you not post this picture anywhere on the internet? And I was like, sure, and pleasure to meet you. And then we took a picture, talked for a few minutes, so yeah, pretty glad that actually worked out. Was one of the guys I always wanted to meet in life, and I'm glad I did it. After you got your hair done again, you always feel a lot better, I feel like. It's not nothing special. It was just... I don't like it hanging down here. That's why I do it. I know that not a lot of stuff has happened today. I'll just try to find a good place to watch the sunset and talk about some stuff I wanted to talk about. I know it feels like things have dropped to the floor your heart is heavy, you can't take anymore You did your best, give it all that you could The days over here in Stafford were really just to check out the Alpha Lake gym and catch up with some work I needed to do um, With work I mean like stuff I have planned for the future and I'm doing on my laptop More importantly I learned what I want to do with my vlogs and the direction I want to take them in Like yesterday I've been talking about vlogging style, making fun of them I'll continue this today and end this topic here Yeah, like I've said, Stafford was great for catching up with stuff I needed to do was great for meeting Christian and overall the real adventure is going to start now that I'm flying to LA tomorrow and then taking like a west coast trip up to Oregon. So in my opinion you can do vlogs in like a thousand different styles. One style that I showed you yesterday, like cut commentary, is a popular style that Casey Neistat uses, a lot of other people use as well. But there are thousands of different styles you can use. I'll show you a few in just a second. But Mainly you can break them down in two categories. First, it's just this like point and shoot at yourself. Hold the camera always at you and just let the viewers know what you're doing over the day. A great example for this would be Syndicate. He just travels the world with his iPhone, putting little clips together, not putting any music in there, no time lapses, no like third person shots, just pointing at him, giving the viewer the experience that he has. The complete opposite would be Casey Neistat. Third person shots, like I do in my videos, like I said, I got inspiration from Casey. Time lapses, all that kind of stuff. Casey is a great example. Now let me show you a few examples of what else you could do for vlogging stuff. Alright, so here are three ideas I came up with that could potentially work for vlogging style. So the first idea that came to my mind was making a wrap up or a spoken word over your day. And it could sound something like this. Today we had a great workout at the Alpha Leads Gym, a place for bodybuilding and powerlifting, not one to swim. The gym isn't far from the apartment, it's literally right across. We had a conversation with the owner slash boss. No more walking for a thousand miles. Now we can actually sit here talking about vlogging styles. You could also act like you are not by yourself and create another fictional character in the movie talking about your day. Hey man, why don't you tell our viewers what we've been up to today? Yeah, I can do that. Well, basically not a lot of stuff had happened today. We went to Alpha Lead Gym, we worked out there and we met Christian, which was great. But other than that, we actually just talked about styles of vlogging. Don't you agree? Or you could create a diary, letting the people know what you would normally write in a diary. Which also deals with your day, I assume. Dear Diary, today is June 9th. I had a great workout at the Alpha Lee's gym and I was even able to talk to the owner, Christian Guzman. It was great, he was a pretty cool guy and I would love to meet him again, maybe in an expo. Now I sit here talking about vlogging styles. How do you like it? To wrap up this video, let me tell you what I want to do with my vlogs. So the next few days will be packed with a lot of stuff happening. So one thing I do not want to do for a vlog is choose topics anymore like I've done the last couple of days. More importantly, I want to shrink down the effort it takes to edit those vlogs. Or actually, let me say, to create those vlogs, because editing isn't all. Yeah, with creating, I mean, I will not choose a topic. I do not want to think about what I have to shoot. Basically, all I want to do every day is create moments to share on social media platforms and have memories to remember. 
So yeah, to be honest, the vlog style will not change a lot. I'll just try to minimize the work effort I put into them while still keeping the quality on the same level. Also, I would like to try and focus more on having fun while doing this than seeing it as something I have to do every single day. So yeah, simply motto is get away from the computer as far as you can while still shooting a lot of stuff. So yeah, last day in Stafford, have yourselves a great day and tomorrow I'll see you in LA.